Good morning, my dear friends, and welcome to morning prayer on this magnificent day. Not only the feast of St. Patrick, Paddy's Day, but it's a beautiful spring morning here in Cumbria. The sun is shining, nature is glowing, and let's come together now to celebrate friendship. And we offer our prayers today for all our brothers and sisters who are of Irish extraction and around the world, families and loved ones, as we celebrate this feast of an Englishman, St. Patrick, born in England, in the north of England, but did great things with the shamrock. So we begin by lighting this candle for unity and peace in our homeland, in Ireland, where so many have become so disillusioned with the church because of all the scandals. So we pray for healing there and that people can move forward and work together for the common good. So this light is an offering of love in recognition for all the great men and women, the missionaries, the monastics from that tiny island who brought the Christ, who brought the Trinity and the symbol of a shamrock to nearly every country in the world. So we give thanks for St. Patrick. And now for our prologue this Thursday morning, we enter the eternal and infinite garden with reverence to the heavenly Father, Mother God, the earthly mother and all the great masters, and reverence to the holy, pure and saving teaching, and reverence to the brotherhood and sisterhood of the elect. Thursday morning we commune with the angel of water, saying, Angel of water, enter my blood and give the water of life to my entire body. And as you say this, you contemplate on the waters of earth, in rain, rivers, lakes, seas, or anywhere, and the currents of the angel of water are left intensifying and directing the circulation of the blood. And we give thanks to the angel of water for bringing this elixir of life to the peoples of the world who are having droughts today. And now, for the divine office of Lords, our morning prayer. O God, come to my aid, O Lord, make haste and help me. Glory be to the Father, Mother, God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And our hymn will be for Lent. Lord Jesus, think on me and purge away my sin. What need I fear when thou art near? Excuse me, and make me pure within. Lord Jesus, think on me, with care and woe oppressed. Let me thy loving servant be, and taste thy promised rest. Lord Jesus, think on me amid the battle strife. In all my pain and misery be thou my health and life. Lord Jesus, think on me, nor let me go astray. Through darkness and perplexity, point thou the heavenly way. And our first antiphon this morning, Awake, lyre and harp, I will awake the dawn. And now we read Psalm 56. And the theme of this psalm reads, This psalm celebrates the passion of Christ. Words from St. Augustine. Have mercy on me, God, have mercy. For in you my soul has taken refuge. In the shadow of your wings I take refuge. Till the storms of destruction pass by. I call to God, the Most High, to God who has always been my help. May he send from heaven and save me and shame those who assail me. May God send his truth and his love. My soul lies down among lions. Who would devour the sons of men? Their teeth are spears and arrows, their tongue a sharpened sword. 
O God, arise above the heavens. May your glory shine on earth. They laid a snare for my steps. My soul was bowed down. They took a pit in my path, but fell in it themselves. My heart is ready, O God. My heart is ready. I will, I will sing your praise. Awake my soul, awake lyre and harp. I will awake the dawn. I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples, among the nations, I will praise you. For your love reaches to the heavens and your truth to the skies. O God, arise above the heavens. May your glory shine on earth. And now we pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother, God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Awake, lyre and harp, I will awake the dawn. The second antiphon, thus says the Lord, my people shall be filled with my good things. And our next reading is a canticle reading from the prophet Jeremiah. And the theme of the canticle reads, Jesus had to die to reunite the children of God who had been scattered. O nations, hear the word of the Lord. Proclaim it to far off coasts. Say he who scattered Israel will gather him and guard him as a shepherd guards his flock. For the Lord has ransomed Jacob, has saved him from an overpowering hand. They will come and shout for joy from Mount Zion. They will stream to the blessings of the Lord, to the corn, the new wine and the oil, to the flocks of sheep and the herds. Their life will be like a watered garden. They will never be weary again. Then the young girls will rejoice and will dance. The men young and old will be glad. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console them and give gladness for grief. The priests I will again feed with plenty and my people shall be filled with my blessings. We pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother, God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end, amen. Thus says the Lord, my people shall be filled with my good things. And the third antiphon, the Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. Just excuse me a second, one of the dogs wants to come in. Come on, puppy. Come on, sweetheart. That's a good girl. Sorry about that. And now we read Psalm 47. And the reading, the theme of the psalm reads, He took me to the top of the great mountain and showed me the holy city of Jerusalem. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain rises in beauty, the joy of all the earth. Mount Zion, true pole of the earth, the great king city, excuse me, God in the midst of its citadels has shown himself its stronghold. For the kings assembled together, together they advanced. They saw at once, they were astounded, dismayed, they fled in fear. A trembling seized them there, like the pangs of birth. By the east wind, you have destroyed the ships of Tharsis. As we have heard, so have we seen in the city of our God, in the city of the Lord of hosts, which God upholds forever. O oh God, we ponder your love within your temple. Your praise, O oh God, like your name, reaches to the ends of the earth. With justice your right hand is filled, Mount Zion rejoices. The people of Judah rejoice at the sight of your judgments. 
Walk through Sion, walk all around it. Count the number of its towers. Review all its ramparts. Examine its castles. That you may tell the next generation that such is our God, our God forever and always. It is he who leads us. We pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. And now for our scripture reading for this fifth Thursday of Lent, which also is the Feast of St. Patrick. And the reading comes from Paul to the Hebrews, chapter 2, verses 9b to 10. We see in Jesus, one who is now crowned with glory and splendor, because he submitted to death. By God's grace, he had to experience death for all mankind. As it was his purpose to bring a great many of his sons and daughters into glory, it was appropriate that God, for whom everything exists and through whom everything exists, should make perfect through suffering the leader who would take them to their salvation. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And the short responsory, it is he who will free me from the snare of the hunters. It is he who will free me from the snare of the hunters. And from the evil word, it is he who will free me from the snare of the hunters. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning. Whoops, sorry. It is he who will free me from the snare of the hunters and the Benedictus Antiphon. Jesus said to the Jews and to all the chief priests, he who is of God hears the words of God, and if you do not hear them, it is because you are not of God. And now, my dear brothers and sisters, I invite you to join me for the Canticle of Zechariah, the Benedictus. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and he has redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior in the house of David his servant as he promised through his prophets from of old. A Savior who would free us from our sin, from the hands of all our enemies. So his love for our fathers is revealed and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham, our father, to grant us that free from fear and saved from the hands of our enemies, we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. And as for you, little child, you will go before the Lord to prepare his ways before him to make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of their sin and the loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high, and he will give light to those who sit in darkness and those who dwell in the shadow of death. He will guide them to the way of peace. We pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Jesus said to the Jews and to the chief priests, He who is of God, hears the word of God. And if you do not hear them, it is because you are not of God. And now for our morning intercessions. We give praise to Christ, our Lord, the radiant light of the world. He guides our steps in a path of light, and we no longer live in darkness. Let us turn to him 
in confident prayer. Response, may your word light up our way this morning. May your word light up our way this morning. Christ our Savior, may we grow today in your likeness. May we gain through the second Adam what was lost by the first. Response, may your word light up our way this morning. May your word take flesh in our lives and your truth shine forth in our actions. May your love burn brightly within us. Response, may your word light up our way this morning. Teach us to work for the good of all, whether the time is right or not. Make your church a welcome light for the whole human family and for all faiths and none. Response, may your word light up our way this morning. May we always treasure your friendship and come to know its depth. May we atone for the sins against your wisdom and your love. Response, may your word light up our way this morning. So let us now be still as we, we know we are in the presence of God. And if you doubt, and need proof, then I draw you to the words of Jesus, who said, where two or three are gathered in my name, I am with you. So he's here. This morning I pray for each one of you, and I ask the Father, Mother, God to bless you on this beautiful spring morning. But today, as it is the feast of St. Patrick or Paddy's Day, we pray for all our Irish brothers and sisters who had to leave their homeland in order to do God's will for their life. And I know there are many Irish people in almost every country of the world, and many of them will be celebrating today. And probably many like me will have a tear in their eye, where they will think of childhood memories and growing up in the Emerald Isle. I want to pray for all my family who are living in Dublin, for all my, my brothers and sisters, their partners and children, my nieces and nephews, and for all my cousins and friends whom I left behind. And I thank St. Patrick for the simplicity of faith and the symbolism of the shamrock in explaining to us the concept of the Trinity, three persons in one God, Father, Son, and Spirit. With Jan, we pray this morning for all gathered here and all who are mentioned on our prayer lists for world peace. And this morning I want to pray for my two dear friends, Siobhan and Phil, both nurses, who came to stop the night with us and who brought so much love. But I want to pray for one of Siobhan's colleagues from the hospice in Whitchurch. Her name is Gillian and she's been fighting a rather advanced, aggressive form of leukemia and not complaining. So we pray for dear Gillian and we pray for her husband, Andrew, and for their children. We remember all those who are struggling and suffering today, and especially our brother Murray, who fractured his tibia last Sunday and then had to go back to theatre on Tuesday for a plate to be inserted, and whose family will take him now down to Leicester today to recuperate. So we pray for progress and a good period of respite for dear brother Murray. We remember brother Paul and all the members of the Order of Franciscan Hermits. We pray for brother Bjorn and the stewards of the Monastery of Peace, for brother Mark in Iraq. We remember today all the young men and women who down through the centuries heard the call of Christ on their heart 
to leave family and loved ones and follow Christ as missionaries. We pray for them. We pray for those who have no one to pray for them, for those who are living on the periphery, the homeless, the unemployed, those in prison and in residential institutions of correction, and those on death row. But we pray for all the men and women who give so selflessly and generously of their time to God in ministering to God's children. We pray for the migrants and refugees from the Middle East, especially Syria. And we pray for those who lost their lives in escaping the horrors of war as they crossed the Mediterranean Sea, either to Greece, to Turkey or to Italy. Let us now form a circle of light and allow the Christ, the Son of God, our brother, our teacher, our mentor, our friend, to touch each one of us now and fill us with the peace of God. I would like to pray a different version of the Lord's Prayer from the Anglican hymnal in New Zealand. Eternal Spirit, earth maker, pain bearer, life giver, father and mother of us all, loving God in whom is heaven, the hallowing of your name echo through the universe. The way of your justice be followed by all the peoples of the world. Your heavenly will be done by all created beings. Your commonwealth of peace and freedom sustain our hope and come on earth. With the bread we need for today, feed us. In the hurts we absorb from one another, forgive us. In times of temptation and test, strengthen us. From trials too great to endure, spare us. From the grip of all that is evil, free us. For you reign in the glory of the power that is love, now and forevermore. Amen. And we've got two prayers, one for the Lent and one for St. Patrick. So our prayer for Lent Stand by your people, Lord, who place all their trust in your mercy. Wash away the stain of our sins. Make us live in the presence of our whole life long and bring us to the inheritance you have promised. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus the Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, <clears throat> one God forever and ever. Amen. And the concluding prayer for St. Patrick today, we give you thanks, Almighty God, for sending St. Patrick to preach your glory to the people of Ireland. Grant that we who are proud to call ourselves Christians may never cease to proclaim to the world the good news of salvation. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus the Christ, who lives and who reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. And that brings us to the end of morning prayer. And now for the ancient Celtic blessing. The blessing of heaven, the blessing of earth, the blessing of sea and sky on those we love this day. And on every human family, the gift of heaven, the gift of earth, the gift, excuse me, of brother sun and sister moon and the animal kingdom be in your heart this day and every day. Amen. As I blow out this light, I ask St. Patrick to bless each one of you today. Amen. Namaste. Shalom. Inshallah. Paxet bonum. Om Shanti. Solo de Carita. Salam Alaikum. And may the peace of the ancient ones, our forefathers, who gave their tomorrows for our today, may we today live in peace 
and celebrate the gift of faith. Amen. So thank you for joining me, and I look forward to your company again soon. This evening at five o'clock, Sister Eleanor from Philadelphia will lead us in Vespers. But for now, take care and have a beautiful day. Happy St. Patrick's Day.